hi people welcome back to another video guys it's been a while here i know so now i'm back and i have a breaking news for you guys for you for me for we for us for all of us so the breaking news here is that about ghana what is happening currently in ghana now as we all know that there is this thing we normally do in nigeria called big brother niger bbh ghana recently starts they started their own bb and uh, bbg big brother ghana some months ago like a few months back guys i wonder if you have heard about that that's why i'm breaking the news to you because i see it's not all over like it's supposed to be you know <laughs> whenever we started this Big Brother in Nigeria, it's always go viral, you know, spread, everybody used to choose their people, okay, this is going on, this is that. Even Ghana are not, people that doesn't know about this, they are not exception, like everyone know about what is going on whenever we started it. So, Ghana started their home now. I don't know why it feels like it's a secret. You got what I mean? BB is not supposed to be a secret. It's supposed to be something of general something that people a lot of people know about you know talk about that's what it's about that is how we build it as a nigeria yeah we build this thing to be like that so ghanian join now no one heard about it i wonder why it's not trending yeah so that brings me back to this video i wanted to watch this video Nigerians are not supportive. Nigerians are not supportive. Go to my page. Click my followers and see where they are coming from. Go to my page. Click my follow and see where they are coming from. Nigerians are supporting me. I'm not even Nigerian. That's giving me a name, Obina. Obina means my heart. They are even coming right to my GM to appreciate me and to thank me. Is that not love and support? What else do you want these people to do? What else do you want the people to do? Some of you are here insulting me and saying that I am a Cameroonian and I am begging lights from Nigeria. Yes, I am begging lights and follow from Nigeria. And so guys, as you are seeing this video, what do you think about it? This is a guy from another African country saying that people are always complaining that Nigeria are not supportive. Nigeria are not supportive. Why are Nigeria not supportive? Even if you check his followers. Nigeria has so much gay. Under his comment section, Nigerians, yeah. In reality, Nigerians are supportive. Nigeria is supportive. Very, very supportive. But the problem is, a lot of African countries are even Nigeria. That is the case. So they just choose to be saying Nigeria is not supportive. Nigeria is not supportive because they are jealous as well. They feel like why is it that whenever they do things and when Nigeria do things, they only seem like two different things? Like it doesn't feel like okay, well, ah, Nigeria do their own, no, and this is how it's going, you know. Nigeria are not sure that really, ah, anything they do, anything they do, blow. So it's not like okay, when you two, you do what Nigeria do, you're going to blow like that. You don't blow as much as Nigeria does. So that is bringing the envy, the jealous inside them instead of celebrating. The instead of celebrating Nigeria, they feel like or oh, celebrating Africa generally, they feel like oh, no, we are different people, and because we are not them, and we are not blowing like them, we are not doing it. It's not like we are not doing it very well, right? But in reality, Nigeria are supportive. Yeah, if these people actually had anything to do with Nigeria, maybe even if the um the future Nigeria, let me see music. Let's talk about music. The music always seems to be very good it seems to sound good firstly and secondly it's go beyond anything it go beyond anything they have done before in their home without including nigeria do you get that this proves that you can do without nigeria most especially Ghana. and they are the most they are the worst. When we are talking about this jealousy, maybe they are the worst. You know, a lot of other people are also jealous, right? They may be jealous and not show it like, okay, we are jealous of you, we don't like you. You may not want to show it physically like that. But Ghanaian are ready to show it physically, to get in fight with you. They know whenever they get into anything that happens with Nigeria, they get to trend. If it's on their own only, they don't trend. You can never. Have you ever seen Ghanaian trending on their own? 
if Nigeria doesn't have anything to do with it, like getting involved in it, there is no way. You won't see them play. But naturally, you see Nigeria trending without you guys getting involved. Even you guys getting involved with only like few, few people among you. Jealousy will not want you, will not let you support the other African country. Nigeria are supporting everywhere. But you guys chose to always film Nigeria for anything you do. You are not appreciating, you are not okay with it. You just want to look for something to do, especially Ghana. A lot of them are saying, I'm picking on Nigeria, I'm picking on Ghana. I mean, I only see Ghana, and Ghana is your headache. Ghana is your something. Bro, if you are doing something bad, I will keep on talking about whatever you're doing that is wrong. But when you also started doing something that is good, and I see that, oh, these people are changed. I will still talk about it. Because I'm not a hypocrite like you. If people talk about anything bad about Nigeria, I've never seen you talk about the good side of Nigeria before. And you think your whole that's like, okay, we were good people, we do things. You know, that's how you carry yourself, fake life. You are human. Human. Human being. Meaning, we have each other between our same. As we have bad eggs in Nigeria, you have bad eggs in Ghana. In Ghana. I didn't say that those people that were doing that's what means you should continue to misbehave. Yes, we are advising them to change. But we never hide the finger that is paining us. We always bring it up and show it to the world like, oh, this finger is paining. And that's why we've got to always find solutions to whatever the problem is that is going on. But you guys cover out your mess. Quite, you think you're protecting your country name for doing so by doing so. But the reality is you are the one that will suffer for it at the end of the day. I'm not a Ghanaian, you know. Whatever you are about to go through, you are going to go through in the nearest future. I don't think it has anything to do with me. Even if it will have, it's not going to be as much as it will have to do with people that are actually Ghanaian indigent. I won't have much to lose. Yes. Even I may not have anything to lose. But you are the one that have lots to lose. If anything go wrong, you are the one that know what is going on. You are the one that know that you are seeing the other place. So that's a problem, guys. But can you guys just please leave Nigeria alone? I don't know your problem. And we don't see you. We don't care about you. But so you are in Nigeria. How many things Nigeria started? Ghana must get involved. If you watch, there is nothing that Ghana actually did that Nigeria have never done before or tried before. It's always their lead. Nigeria lead you to. By the end of the day, you won't, you won't even give them their credit and they're not fighting for the credit. But instead, you still come against Ghana against them and be insulting, abusing. That's how Ghanaians are good at doing. That's how you know how to do the best. I've never seen a Ghanaian just come out. Like, even if a Ghanaian want to sound like it's not being theirs, I'm telling you, this thing that is inside their blood, the heavy and jealous inside their blood, we make them look they have like changed the way when they are trying to just make point, trying to be nice. They just make a way and just go straight to where they are about to go exactly, like where they mean, where they are meant to go. And we see that all their um, all their thoughts, everything that is on their heads are the same. You will not see different. Like okay, ah, different, different kind of people. If you see Nigeria in a place, they will have different, different opinion. Like okay, ah, this, this, this that you will see a lot of knowledge. Like. Pick one here, pick one here, pick one here, but not in Ghana. All of them will go to the same side. If one person has already started to be entering, to be going on the wrong way, I promise you, if 100 Ghana also follow, I can even say 1 million Ghana also come, they will also go the same wrong way that the first person is going. If one person now try to go to the right way and see things the way it's supposed to be, you will see like half of 1,000 Ghanaian people. You will see maybe 20 people that will support that and say, okay, well, that's the truth for real. And do you see the remaining 900 they will go and insult their fellow Ghanaian for being truthful. <laughs> I just call that country a peaceful country, a country of balance. It's like you guys don't know what that means when you're ganging against one person, ganging on one person, you know. It's not bully, you're bullying them. And that's what you do to yourself. Are you call that peaceful country? Well, you can see people bullying in Nigeria. Mm, maybe secretly. It's not something they will do physically that you see like this. 
Mm. But I have never said that before. If I see that maybe on the inside video, yeah, that's when I've always said. But in Ghana, it sounds like it's something of it's something that is real. Yeah, it's something that is real. That is happening real for real day. You don't see that. Don't you guys see that part of you guys that you guys are bullying? You don't see that though. When you see other people country home and you did this, you did that, you will know you will be the one to know how to talk. You will be the one to know what to say to people. You will be the one to know that ha, huh, what you are doing is not good. What you are doing are bad. And what we are doing, that is what we do. That is why our leader won't want to do this. You know why? Their leaders are the worst. You guys keep talking about our, our own presidents. Yeah, this, that, that. Can your president even rule you? You are talking about what he has done good and what he hasn't done. We have the mouth. We can speak for ourselves. We can talk. We don't have to include you. It's none of your business, bro. We are not getting involved in your own business. Why must you come here? That's why people also come for you or your in your business because you never stop poking this for that people business. You are humble, hypocrites, cho 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 cho. That's what you. That's what you people are. Some of you, you can't stay on your lane. You cannot just stay on your lane. I don't like that, bro. That's my problem with you guys. You don't stay in your place. Nigeria will stay. You will be the one to go. So someone was telling me the other day on the comment section that hey, if anything has to happen, it's Nigeria that used to start me. But what I've seen by myself, like what I'm seeing, is always Ghana that always go and make Nigeria like, okay, this is this is that. It's not because I'm in Nigeria, but I'm stating the fact. Telling you based on my own experience and what I've seen. Yeah. Experience is what I've Explain what I've seen. Yeah. Is that what I'm telling you? But you feel like because I've not I've always seen that side of you. You are so sad. You're hungry. You're like, we don't like you, we don't want you, we don't dare this. What? <laughs> Do I ask you to like me before? <laughs> Did I ask this to like me before? You see, you guys should mind your business, guys. Guys, guys, guys. People, people, people. You people, mind your business. Leave Nigeria out of your mouth. Hmm? When you, you will start acting, and when they start ganging against you, you will start crying. Nigeria are not supporting. Nigeria do this. Nigeria do that. But what you do, you will not see. How many of these Ghanaians have been saying, Ghanaian will do this. It's true that we do this. You will see Nigerian coming like, okay, yes, we do this. We I mean, so that we do this. They will come and confess. But Ghanaian, you guys are liar. You are bullying. Yes, that's what you have. That's what you're proving. And you are manipulators. You manipulate the truth. And just change it. Just to bring out the best in yourself. I feel like you're the best. Even you making mouth and making it seem like you're the best doesn't seem like, doesn't mean you are the best in reality. You know that inside you. You know, there is a, uh, this um, adage that they used to say. Even if you are lying to people, you can never lie to yourself. You know, two people cannot lie to themselves. The person that is lying knows that she's, he or she is lying. The person you are lying to me don't know, but you personally don't know that you are lying. And lies doesn't... <laughs> it don't stay long. Lie doesn't stay long because it's a lie. There's not the truth. So probably there is probability that you are going to say the truth mistakenly and still try to change it like, oh no, that's not what I meant. But you will say the truth by mistakenly. So when you're lying, you always be lying and saying different, different things are different, different. When they ask you this about the same thing, you say another thing. No, that person asks you, you say another thing. So you know the truth. So you do it. You won't, your answer will not be the same. But when it's the truth, you always be saying exactly what you said before. And when they, these people gather together, they say, oh, that's what you said. That's what he said. But when you are saying different words, they'll be like, ah, that's not what he said to me. That's not what she said to me. Well done, continue. I think that's who you are. You are born liars. Yeah, born manipulators. Continue being that too. But me, I will always keep talking about whatever I want to talk about. I'm not going to lie on my mind. So feel free to say whatever you want to say. And I'm free to say whatever I want to say because in my country, Nigeria, there is freedom of speech. You get? I don't know about your own country. But here in my country, Nigeria, we 
Oh, they are on the list. Let's do one. Don't try to turn me deeper and grow the old response. They get that our first time. Did I know how to do this? I don't know, whatever. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. If you wish to comment, actually. So, share if you feel like there are people that should see this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm okay with any of that the video go. I'm not a great person, okay? So, I don't care even if I get to 5, 1, 2 views. I do not care. Thank you for watching anyway. If you, if you are the only one that is watching, thank you. Bye bye.